Good morning. Classic Cars of Palm Beach here. Going to do a little walk around video on this 2015 Dodge Charger, I'm sorry, Challenger Hellcat in sublime green. Car has about 40, just under 46,000 miles on it. If I remember correctly, it was a two owner vehicle. It's got a few little like performance uh, updates as far as like an air intake uh, and I'll pop the hood. I think it's got like an oil catch can so you can see what's underneath there. But these videos are designed for our out of state and out of town buyers to know exactly what they're getting when the car arrives so that there's never any sort of questions or surprises when the car gets to where it's going. If you're looking at this car, you probably know quite a bit more about it than I do. I believe it's got a little north of 700 horsepower. This particular one is one of the rare six-speed manual transmissions. So if you're looking for horsepower and uh, manual, I mean, you don't get much better than that. Six-speed six manual and a 700 horsepower. But let's walk around. We're gonna take a look at the windshield first. Basically just looking for any rock chips, nicks, scratches, anything that's jumping out at me. I don't see anything. You can see the VIN plate is intact there. Looks like it came out of Virginia. Checking out the hood. The hood scoops, all the vents are in good working condition. Looks like there's a little bit of touch up here, here. Let me see if I can see any other tiniest of the little rock chips right there, if you can see that. Uh, the touch up isn't bad though. Doesn't look horrible. Just a couple little rock nicks that they look like they probably touched up. Looking on the front here for maybe just a little bit of uh, rock chip there. Really nothing too crazy. And then you can see there's a little scrape right there on the front spoiler and right there. Looking down the side of the car, I don't see any dents or dings, nothing jumping out at me. No major body damage down there. This is the driver's side front wheel. There's no curb damage. Plenty of tread depth left on the tires. They're, I think these tires have about 2,000 miles on them. This is the driver's side rear tire. Again, doesn't show any curb rash or curb damage and plenty of tread depth on those tires. Windows are tinted. The tint is not bubbling. It's in great condition. There's no dents that I can see on the top of the car. Spoiler looks good. Looking at the rear bumper. Tail lights are in good shape. Don't see any major body damage, no scratches or nicks on the rear bumper. Looking down the passenger side for any dents or dings. Again, I'm not seeing anything. Really, just overall, really nice shape. Got the passenger side rear wheel, no curb damage on that one. And then the driver side front wheel, I'm sorry, passenger side front wheel, no curb damage on that one. You see a little surface uh, rust on the rotors. That'll come off once uh, they just start driving. Let's check out the inside and then we'll do a cold start. Haven't started it up in two days, so you'll get to uh, see what the cold start looks like, or sounds like. Check out the driver's side door panel. All the stitching's good. This car does not have any funky odors. I don't smell cigarettes. I don't smell pets. Slight, slight wear on the leather there. It's not broken or cracking, just your typical creasing that you get in the leather. All the buttons are in good shape. The dashboard's not cracked or faded. There's no major scuffing on the door sill. Really nothing, uh, too, nothing concerning about this car at all. Let's start it up.
salespeople, no haggle pricing. If you like a car, you want to buy a car, did, did 45, 45 minutes it takes to buy a car here. We ship them all over the country. You can do deals completely remotely. Appreciate you checking out the video. Thanks.